Giannis Antetokounmpo was a man amongst boys, putting up 50 points, 14 rebounds, and five blocks, and the Bucs needed every one of them to beat a game Suns team. The Bucs winning game six of the NBA Finals to capture the franchise's first championship in a half century. They did so in front of an insane sellout crowd of more than 17,000 fans inside the arena, along with 65,000 fans crammed into the Deer District surrounding the billing. Antetokounmpo's 50 points were tied for the most all-time in a closeout game in NBA Finals. He was named Series MVP unanimously, doing it all the right way. I wanted to get the job done. You know, uh, but that's my stubborn side. Like, it's easy to go somewhere and go and win a championship with somebody else. It's easy. I could go, I I don't put anybody in the spot, but I could go to a super team and, you know, just do my part and win a championship, still one. But this is the hard way to do it, and this is the way. And we did it. We did it. We did it, man. I need his energy right now. I need his intensity. Uh, Big Perk back here with us. Max, let me ask you this, and I was looking forward to this debate all show. What would you rather have? Would you rather have KD's two rings with the Warriors joining a super team or, quote, do it the right way and have one ring like Giannis? This is a trick question. It's Giannis by so much. It's by so much. And I say that even after saying they were lucky that KD and Harden and Kyrie weren't all healthy together. And that Kawhi got hurt in the West, and that AD got hurt in the West. Yes, they were lucky, but you know why? Because if you put Kawhi, uh, sorry, Kyrie, Harden, and KD on the same team, you've constructed a can't-lose team. The rings that KD won are even worse than that. He joined a 73-win team, the all-time record, that already won one championship, that came within a shot of winning another championship. They couldn't lose at that point. When you create a situation where you can't lose, you don't prove the same kind of things. We already know that KD is very skilled, as Stephen A. said. But you don't prove the other stuff we really want to know about, what a championship tells us about your grit, about your determination, about your ability to overcome obstacles, because there are no obstacles if you put an MVP caliber player on the 73. Not only that, the death lineup in 2015 that the Warriors ran out, Harrison Barnes was the weakest link. They exchanged their weakest link. They replaced it with the strongest link in the NBA other than LeBron. They replaced Harrison Barnes in the death lineup that was considered invincible with Kevin Garnett. So, yeah, guess what? Garnett won back-to-back finals MVPs. I don't think he deserved both of them. LeBron deserved at least one of those. But you know why? Because you have too much to worry about on that team. Who's going to stop Kevin Durant? You've got to worry about Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and, and, and then and have Iguodala and, and, and Draymond Green, too. It's ridiculous. Of course you can. Giannis, when he hit the podium and said the right way, stayed right where he was, took a cast of non-superstars, two quasi-stars, almost stars, and won a championship with a string of performances as good as any we've ever seen in the playoffs and capped it with a 50-point night that makes us question today, is this the greatest closeout performance ever? His third 40-plus double-digit rebound night in the same series. Yes, Giannis's ring means more, and everybody knows it. Well, you could say it means more, Max Kellerman, and I'm not going to refute that, but what I would tell you to answer the question directly is that I'm sorry if this isn't a direct answer, but it's a matter of preference. Um, I think about LeBron, who really, really started all of this when we talk about super teams being assembled. Um, or you could actually start it in Boston because I thought that was a super team that Kendrick Perkins was on when you got KG, Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, and Rondo. I mean, damn, that, that, that's lethal. But let's start with LeBron. So let's see. I'm here in Giannis, and I'm Milwaukee, and it's my team, and I stayed here, and I got Drew Holiday and Middleton, and we go through trials and tribulations. It's my team, but, you know, ultimately I carry us to a championship, which is a very legitimate and authentic thing, and it's special. When I think about LeBron, I'm thinking about D. Wade as my teammate. I'm thinking about Bosh. I'm thinking about that second go-round, how Ray Allen joined the squad. And I'm thinking about the fact that I'm in South Beach. I don't mind that. That's not a problem that I have. I think that's a beautiful thing. Okay? And then, and then on top of it all, everywhere I go on the road, oh I mean, God. it's like the Beatles. It's like the Beatles have showed up, Max. 
It's like the Beatles have come to town and all of that stuff. And we're the story. You know, I kind of like that. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, Showing we've been your true one colors. In the for nine years. You know, I mean, I kind of like that. Then we transitioned to KD. And KD, no, you know I didn't like the move to Golden State. We all know that I'm on the record with that. But I throw it, Max, to a dude from 35 feet away from the basket. And it's like hit layups. And oh, by the way, he ain't the only dude that I can throw it to from 35 feet away from the basket. And it's like a layup. And oh, by the way, Max Kellerman, Kendrick Perkins could tell you this, that crowd inside of the Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin last night was electrifying. I mean, it was something special to be a part of, to be in there, to hear that roar of the crowd. And it's even more special when we consider the fact that we're just coming off of COVID. Uh, oh, we're still in the throes of COVID, but you know what I'm saying in terms of last sure. year bubble play compared to what it is now. But Max, it wasn't the Oracle. You've been to the Oracle. Yeah. You were there for game seven. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is this. It's about preference, my brother. I understand I'm not taking anything Mm. away from Giannis and what you said. But if you're talking to me, KP, about preference, well, let's see. (laughs) It's the Oracle with two of the greatest shooters, the greatest shooting backcourt that we've ever seen. Or rock star treatment. And my home turf is South Beach. I'm sorry, but as a matter of preference, <laughs> I, I, I have no problem with LeBron or KD issue. in that regard. I would have preferred that. That's just me. Well, well, here it is, right? When you when you talk about when you talk about super teams and you talk about guys like KD, you talk about guys like Braun, you even could talk about the 08 Celtics, right? The thing is, is this, okay, you go and join a super team or you form a super team. I get that part, but it's still a hard thing, Max. And the thing I didn't like what you said was it's not even close, and it is close because when you form a super team, it's so much pressure it on, it's on you, eyes are on you to actually deliver a championship. Now, we could go back to the Lakers when they had three-peated, and then they added, I know he was old at the time, a Carl Malone and a Gary Payton, and we could consider that as a super team, and we saw that they didn't get it done. They they ran through everybody in the postseason until they got up against the bad, the bad boys from Detroit, the new generation, and Chauncey Billup and Rasheed Wallace. But here it is. My deal is, I would rather Giannis Championship, a team that I was drafted by, a team, a, a place where I stayed and delivered, built from the ground up. I had guys come in. I was drafted. He, he spoke on him and Chris Middleton relationship last night and how they've been through the trenches and how they support one another. And then you add a guy like Drew Holiday, who's an all-star caliber player, but not a superstar caliber player, and then you get it done, right? No matter what happened, you get it done. So I would take Giannis just because of how he did it and the journey that he went through. Now, to add one more point to that, here it is, we have to remember, sometimes when guys do form with super teams and they go other places, they still have in in the back of their mind that they have unfinished business at that other place. That's why LeBron James went back to Cleveland. That's why LeBron James will tell you the Cleveland championship went, meant probably meant more to him than any other championship because he delivered it in the place he was drafted in his hometown. Well, I, I just want to make a distinction here, guys, because Stephen A., you brought up, and I know what you mean about lifestyle <laughs> and your preferences, but you brought up the Miami squad. I would have given KD more credit for this Brooklyn win, even though they still have the most talent, because throwing guys together is harder than it, – it's harder to win that first year, as we saw in Miami, than it is – like what KD did was different, guys. The Boston Celtics with the team that you were on, Perk, Garnett was an MVP-level player. But Pierce and Ray Allen weren't. Let's just be honest. They were all-star level players. And, and, they and are Rondo, the famous. They yeah, are the famous. Yeah, but there is a difference. They are, but you could say, who's better, this guy or that guy? The MVP level is better than the all-star level. Pierce and Ray Allen are Hall of Famers. There are higher levels of player. Like, for example, Kevin Garnett. That was what the, what the, what the Warriors had. They had an MVP player in Steph. 
They had an all-star in Clay, an all-star in Dre, a great player in Iguodala, and they added to a team that was already functioning an MVP all-time great in his prime. That is completely different than, the, than what all these other circumstances are. That's why those rings, to me, it's like you couldn't not win. How do you not win if they just won 73 games, came a play away, and then you add KD? That's different than LeBron. That's a super-duper team. It's different. Well, let me say a couple of things. Number one, Paul Pierce was called the truth for a reason because he closed. Number two, Ray Allen, I would remind you that if it wasn't for the exceptionalism of Steph Curry, I would remind you that the all-time three-point king would be Ray Allen. This brother was something special. And by the way, I just recently heard he was in some kind of bike accident or whatever. I hope he's all right. Nothing but the best to that brother. I love Ray Allen. Uh, So I want to say that. The other thing that I will say to you is this. Again, Giannis did it the right way. He did it the Jordan way. He did it the Kobe way. He did it the Tim Duncan way. We get all of that. We understand that. Okay? And I'm not taking anything away from him. But I would like to point out that this season, above many, many others, has proven just because you assemble something doesn't mean that it necessarily works out. Look at what happened to the Brooklyn Nets. So the point that I'm trying to make to you is that we can point to injury, Max, but when other things come into the equation, like you coming into camp out of shape, yep. or if you, Kyrie, you thinking you don't really, really need a coach because you're so exceptional, and you didn't think about the fact that other young cats might be called upon to raise up their game because you get hurt, but they weren't prepared because they weren't receiving the necessary coaching uh, that, that, that they could have received. There's a lot of different components that go into being successful, not just even after you assemble a crew. And the bottom line is, I can't dismiss the championships that KD earned, nor that LeBron earned, because they still had to work their butts off in order to become champions. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, Big Perk will be back with us in just a moment, guys. Next on First Take, some football to get into. Last season, Big Ben started off the season hot, winning 11 in a row. 